Yeah, to be sure, Molly, police have the authority to trespass people from private property like this parking lot right here. But the problem is that by the time officers show up, well, troublemakers aren't always still there. Well, the safety situation got so bad that business owners decided to pitch in and hire their own security team. A heavily armed security team made its way down South Hosmer Street, checking for loiterers at all the businesses and private lots along the way. The work is being done by Blue Falcon Tactical Solutions and its owners spent weeks preparing. We're going to take that traffic and push them down to 96 where we have all the resources waiting from treatment to housing. The neighborhood around South 96th Street is a hotbed for crime and security company owner Tima Wood says local business owners have had enough. The gentleman was killed down there. We've had um, five shootings take place in the last two and a half weeks just in that same area right there in front of the daycare center. Since September, Tacoma police have 47 reports of assaults, armed robberies, break-ins, drug violations, and other crimes, and the shop and store owners want their parking lots cleared. Normal people that would come here are afraid to because they have that stereotype. They have every right to, you know, clear their parking lot for the safety of their customers. And these security officers have cleared these areas before, but now they plan 30 days of stepped-up patrols to try and make it stick. Some doubt it will work. They're going to push them off here. They'll be right back. It's been that way for a year and a half. They, they move them off, then they're down the side road. Woods has also teamed up with housing providers, detox facilities, and outreach workers to try to connect people to help who want it. He says the neighborhood deserves better, and he hopes to make a difference. We can secure this entire area for the 30 days, alleviate the police of coming down here to dealing with lower-level crimes, and then we can show this model work. Hopefully it can lead to a long-term goal. Well, so far, this effort appears to be working. We haven't seen any confrontations erupt, but it is unclear how many people will accept help and where the rest will end up. Reporting live, Joel Marino, Como News.